and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale Part 16. I'm your host, Mefru. And last episode, we've got all the keys ready to enter the lab and find out what the hidden agenda is behind all this. I mean, this has all been so creepy and mysterious. I'm actually really curious to know what's going on. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Okay. Seems to be turned off. Everything's losing power. Everything seems to be turned off. Story of my life. Story of my life. What's that? A massive machine? It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Oh yeah. Let's turn it on. <laughs> uh, let's turn it back off again. Let's turn it back off again. Yeah, I think, I think off was better than on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, stop! Oh, it's Alphys. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um. Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of sorrows. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their sorrows would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what phys physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects have melted together into... Those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work knowing... Everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all of this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. Oh. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Oh, what's going on? Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. The plot thickens even more. The thickening continues. Oh, entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the centre of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without soul gains the will to live? <laughs> These greens are really creepy as well. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. The flower's gone? It must be flowery. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Mefu, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Mefu? See you soon. Um, I'm not sure I chose that button on the elevator. Oh, okay, maybe I did. Can I even get out of here? 
The door is jammed shut with vines, just the way I like my doors. <laughs> Airtight. Right, up we go. Um, it was this way, wasn't it? That was the shortcut, wasn't it? Because we're going back to where the king was? I think. I have no idea, but the music's not even going or anything. Everything's getting so creepy. When did this turn into a horror game? <laughs> it was all so lovely. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> There's no save points either. Okay, here's one. True laboratory. I'm having serious deja vu here. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. So weird. I see. This is it then. Ready? No? I have to kill him again? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over again. You are filled with determination. Here, man. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Not again. Oh, that's new. That's really new. <gasps> Tutorial. <laughs> what a miserable creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. <laughs> Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Aww. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, Jamar. You pathetic whelp! If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taking six souls from the humans, then came back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Da da da! Tori! You are right, I am a miserable creature, but do you ever think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. What? Who invited her? Ah, Asgore, human, nobody fight each other. Everyone's going to make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello. I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> so many voices. Hey, nobody hurts each other. <laughs> Are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. 
Uh, ha, ha, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> that voice! Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. <laughs> I am Toriel, so nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Worry. I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tar his roof with? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. Sh shing? I don't get that one. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgur. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> yeah, Asgur. I'm dying totally right about that fish thing. S -s -some sometimes you've just gotta s -s stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, j -j just get to know a really cute fish. <laughs> uh, that's awkward. It's a metaphor. <laughs> well, I think it's a good analogy. Is that metaphor? <laughs> oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. <laughs> hey, shut up. Man, you're never that guy. Right, Alpheus. <laughs> uh, Alpheus? No, he's right. Let's do it. <laughs> well, uh, I guess if you want to, then... Don't hold anything back. What's going on? Wait! Not in front of the human! Alright, uh, sorry, I got a little carried away there! <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her... Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. Uh-oh. A tiny flower? Oh no. Oh, it's all going so nice and happily. You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend's souls are going to be mine too. <laughs> And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. 
If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away, just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. Hehehe. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Uh-oh. Not this again. Even if it means killing you one million times. What? No, no. No, let me out. Aha! What? <laughs> Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you get past me, you can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't been this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. <laughs> Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But, but, but somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. La 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 la, we're with you too. Come on, you got this. You gotta win. You can do it. Wait a bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. This is so intense. <laughs> I'm so like overloaded right now of emotions. Really intense. What the hell is that? What is that? It looks like a, something coming out of prison. Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Oh, it's flowery. Howdy. Mefu, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel. Oh, it's Fingy's uh, son. Um, Asriel's son and um, Toru's son. It's the end. Okay, um, check. As your dreamer, infinite attack, infinite defense. Legendary being made of every soul in the underground. Oh, that's just great. I'm sure I can beat them. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is trippy. The true final battle was finally beginning. <laughs> it's like I'm taking some mushrooms or something. I'm going to hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Will I? What? Oh my god! Oh my god, this is trippy! <gasps> I actually managed to dodge all that. I'm, I'm very shocked. Ezreal Charger... Ezreal Charger Shocker Breaker. Uh, I will dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. You know? I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Don't you? Oh, 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 okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Should I heal or should I not? Oh, I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna risk it. I hope. You kept holding on, damage reduced. After I defeat you, I'm getting control, <laughs> I'm getting total control of the timeline. I just want to reset everything. Oh, okay, I might be dead. I might be dead. Nope. Oh. I'm concentrating so much I can't even do the voices anymore. <laughs> I don't want to die. All your progresses, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Is this a star attack? Nope. Did I... Oh, okay, I was going to say, did I dodge that? I looked at my HP, it's free. <laughs> Okay, uh, bad memory. Let's try that one. Yeet the unicycle. Recover 11 HP. Then we can do everything all over again. This is stars? Yep. Star attack. I think I got hit. Yes, I got hit really badly. <gasps> no! No! Oh. But it refused. Is this like, just a reset? What? Hope. You hold on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you will take this turn. Oh, I can't dodge anything. <laughs> I've lost the ability to dodge anything, literally. Hope. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. So I heal and I keep holding on. You kept holding on, damage reduced. It's the stars. Uh oh. <gasps> I managed to dodge that. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but I managed to dodge it. Hope. You kept holding on, damage reduced. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! I'll do what? Oh! <laughs> uh, okay, I'll try and heal Pi. It's a wonderful day for Pi. You ate the Butterscotch Pi, your HP was maxed out. And then you'll lose to me again! Uh, I'd rather not. Crap. I forgot about that face. Uh, last dream? Oh! Through determination the dream became true, your HP was maxed out. And again! Um. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll dream again. Your HP is maxed out. And again! Stars? Damn! Galactica blazing. Uh, do, bad memory? Bad memory? Oh, you can see in the bad memory, you lose one HP. Uh oh. Because she wants a happy ending. Maybe I messed up there. Oh, it's a star attack as well. Yeah. Damn it, I messed up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's try again. Hope. You do so much damage to take this time. Damn it. Stop taking damage. Has already a shocker breaker attack. Okay, hope. Stars? No. Oh wow! I'm learning! I'm learning! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hope again. You kept holding on, damage reduced. Stars, not the stars. There's just so much cluster on my screen. 
Alright, let me try and heal. Dream came true, your HP was maxed out. Because you love your friends! Okay, so when he goes through the... Yeah, I'm really bad at doing that. That was, that was terrible. That was terriba. Terriba. Alright, hope again. Nice, okay. That was a good start. Uh, dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Oh, when I dream, does it heal me up? I don't doing this wrong. Oh, I hit once. That's not so bad. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. Hope. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh crap, I forgot about that attack. <laughs> I can dream! Your items fill up with dreams. Because you never give up! <gasps> oh. No, what? He did that last time! Oh no. I'm stuck in an eternal battle. <laughs> Hope. The eternal battle. Come on. Okay. Off to a good start. Dream. Oh, almost got me there. Oh, and it did get me. <laughs> Dream. Oh, I think I'm dead again. What? What? Oh no. Okay, loads of dreams. I keep hoping. I need to like L to P and dodge this properly. So hard. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go for a dream. A dream came true. I think it's just like an endurance battle. Yes, I remembered. Hope. It's gonna dream and hope you to death. Okay, he does do a star attack after that. Okay, let's uh, dream. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Rather it not be though. Oh crap. Okay, let's uh, hope. You, keep, you kept holding on, damage reduced. Now enough messing around! It's time to purge this timeline once and for all! What? What's going on now? What's that? <gasps> Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way! Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. What? As a robot, what is that? <laughs> you look like a vampire. Um, can I only act? Struggle. You can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! No! Oh, okay, sweet! 
can't move your body. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget to you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Crap. Struggle. You can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Come on. How to dodge? The whole world is ending. Struggle. Can't move your body. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Uh, not that good, apparently. <laughs> You struggle, nothing happens. You, you try to reach your save file, nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file, nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. Oh, who do I pick? It's gotta be Sans. You reached out to Ezreal's soul and called out to your friends. They are in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something reson something's resonating. The lost souls appear. I must capture a human! Just give up, I did. Oh. I don't... Oh, no! <laughs> I'm going to get hit by everything. Uh, puzzle? You asked the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will. Why even try? Crap. Those are so easy to dodge as well. The lost soul stand there. Uh, recipe? You asked the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. You'll never see him again. Oh crap! <laughs> the lost souls stand there. Uh, joke? He told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. Then everyone will! Why even try? Okay, uh, let me take a dream. Dream came true, your HP is maxed out. You never see him again. Probably not at this rate, jeez. How did I even get this far? Joke. You told also a bad pun about skeletons. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, wait! You're my friend, I could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Sweet. You feel something faintly resonating within Israel. But let's say, let's try... Undyne. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Your soul appeared. Uh, fake hit. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Lost Soul stands there. Uh, recipe? You asked the Lost Soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You are a real enemy! Ooh. Lost Soul stands there. Smile? You gave the Lost Soul a big smile, like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Nice. Feel something resonating with Ezreal. Save. Uh, Toriel. Maybe that's Ezreal's soul. Something's resonating. Lost souls appear. Oh, it's both of them. <gasps> that's the wrong button. 
This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Oh no. Why couldn't it have been Toru's attacks? You know, where she avoids me the whole time. Uh, a hug? You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. No one will leave again. This is why I drew her. No. What are you doing, Asgore? Stop trying to kill me. I'm trying to save the world, man. Uh, let's try this one. Um, Mercy. You tell Lasso that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. <gasps> Not that familiar, though. Jesus. Lasso, stand there. Okay, let's try... Reference? You tell the lost soul you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. <laughs> Somehow she faintly recalls hearing this before. No one will leave again. This is why I drew it her. Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay, let's try... Let's try hugging Asgore. He hugged the lost soul. Suddenly, his memories are falling back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Feel something strongly resonating within Azrael. Alphys. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Oh. Lost her. Oh, it's in his dress as well. In her dress, I mean. <laughs> um, encourage. Cool? No doubt. No doubt. You asked the Lost Soul what her favourite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? Oh crap, it's this. Oh. An off screen firing. Lost Soul stands there. Encourage. You tell Lost Soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. I've got to keep loving. Oh, I actually forgot how to do this one. Or not. Lost Soul stands there. Cool. You call the Lost Soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Nice. You feel your friend's soul is resonating within Israel. Someone else? Who's someone else? Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realise. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Oh. It's the girl. That tripped and fell down. Oh. like a little family. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Ezreal. Save. What? What did you do? What is this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no. I don't need anyone. Um, um, I didn't want to dodge that anyway. <laughs> Stop it. Get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Oh god. Save or kill? Should I heal? Just in case? I heal. Dot 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 dot. Mefu, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Oh, I just want to kill me anymore. I'm doing this because you're special, Mefu. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Mefu. I care about you more than anybody else. Oh. 
I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. Oh, it's so dramatic. So please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Oh crap. Uh, there's no dodging that. Stop it. Stop it now. Time to save you. Mefu. I'm so alone, Mefu. I'm so afraid, Mefu. Mefu, I. I. Oh. I'm so sorry. I was always a crybabe, wasn't I, Mefu? I know. You're not actually Mefu, are you? Mefu's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. And as a flower, I was soulless. I lack the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel everyone's, everyone other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Haha. <laughs> Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. I forgive you. What? Frisk, come on. You're, uh, you're going to make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning within the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. Oh. I was not expecting this kind of ending at all.